Okay, sweetie, go hide. to me. He took you. He took my baby. Only one thing left to do. So then what happened? She walked right up to him, poured the drink in his lap. No, she did not. <laughs> oh, I wish I was there. Well, you could have come. I mean, I've only invited you, what, three times now? Yeah, I know. I just... You have to look after your mother. Is there anyone who can spend one night with her? I mean, my friends think you don't want to hang out with us. That's not true. I would love to hang out with you guys. It's just, you know, if I'm home late, then my mom stresses out and her blood pressure goes up, blah, blah, blah. It's this whole big thing. Well, you said yourself a lot of it's in her head, right? She's a hypochondriac. Yeah, but most of it's real. I mean, if it's not her fibromyalgia, then it's her thyroid or her asthma. And don't forget her panic attacks. How could I? I'm just not sure if everything's as bad as she says it is. I don't know how you deal with it. That's why I try to minimize the stress. Makes living with her a whole lot easier. You know, you're a nicer daughter than I am. Sometimes when my parents call, I don't even pick up the phone. Well, you're bad. Why would God invent caller ID if he didn't want us to use it? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't mind staying late to help you get it done. You sure? No, it's no problem. I stay late all the time. Oh, you're the best, Lily. Thanks a lot. OK, all right, bye. Lily, can I see you for a minute, please? Of course. So, as you know, I'm not one to beat around the bush. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Okay. You're one of the best analysts I've got. You're smart, you're great with the policyholders, accurate, and you're always willing to go the extra mile. Thank you, Mr. Joris. I, I try. I almost hate to lose you. Uh, excuse me? Why don't you sit down? I had dinner last night with one of the managers from the Chicago branch, Oliver Hoffaker. He's head of property and casualty. Anyway, he told me that they're looking for a major claim specialist, and I mentioned your name. You did? Yeah, look, I don't even know if you're interested, but you'd be perfect for it. And it is a promotion. Uh, the job pays almost $15,000 more than you're making now. And it's in Chicago? Mm-hmm, right by Millennium Park. Just a few blocks from Lake Michigan. It's a beautiful area, actually. Anyway, look, Ollie's gonna be in town for a week, and he said he'd like to meet with you before he flies back. Is that something you'd like me to set up for you? <sighs> Yeah, c can I think about it? Yeah, sure. But he's only going to be in town till next Wednesday, so the sooner the better. Oh, um, okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Joris. Thank you for thinking of me. Sure. Hi, Mom. What's up? Well, I'm just wondering what time you're coming home. I don't know. Another 20, 30 minutes or so. It's only going to take longer if you keep calling me. Well, I need to know what time to start dinner. 
Yeah, don't make me anything. I'm eating as we speak. All right. Don't forget to pick up my prescription. No, I told you, I'll pick it up. Arlovox, 88 micrograms? And don't let them overcharge you. I've already paid for my deductible. Yeah, I know, Mom. I'll see you soon. All right, don't forget, sweetie. I won't. Bye. Bye. I don't know how I could forget it. I've only mentioned it 50 times. Pharmacy. Hi, Binky. Hi, Binky boy. It's a good boy. Mom, why is my credit card bill open? I thought it was mine. I opened it by mistake. I thought I asked you to be more careful. What are you doing? Idiot's the wrong dosage. Mom, I, I thought that the last time we had your thyroid level tested, the doctor said 88's fine. Well, Dr. Wilcox, or maybe I should say Dr. Know-it-all, doesn't believe me, but I am sure my blood work got switched at the lab. I should be on at least 100. Come on, Mom. Lily, if you took the time to watch the news, you would see that lab technicians mix stuff up all the time. Mom, why don't you just take them the way they are and we'll have you tested again when we go in next month? All right. Good. Need your favorite cookies. Since you missed out on the pork chops. Mom, why did you do that? I told you, I'm on a diet. Oh, sweetie, one cookie won't hurt you. Besides, you are thin enough as it is. Come on, just one. No, Mom, I don't want a cookie. All right. I was just trying to do something nice, but I see that that was insensitive of me. I'll just throw them out so that you won't be tempted. Mom, and don't throw them out. Oh, you're just trying to be nice. What do you think, Binky? Do you ever consider living in Chicago? I know, you said you didn't want any tea, but uh, just in case. Uh -huh. Thanks. You just put it over there. So, are you um, surfing the web? I'm just doing some stuff for work. Mm, it makes me nervous. Lydia has a case at work where a woman is suing a man who's harassing her. Guess where he found her? One of those talk rooms. Chat rooms. Well, I hope you don't spend time in any of those rooms. I think I'll be okay, Mom. Well, you won't say that, Lily, but you are just the type of girl who would get duped into believing one of those stalkers. Remember what happened with Michael? One day he says he loves you, Mom, next... could you please stop bringing up Michael? I, that was over three years ago. I just don't want to see you get hurt again, baby. I know. Well, my back's giving me a bit of trouble, so I'm gonna hit the sack. Sweet dreams. Good night.
I'll just be out a few more minutes. No rush. Excuse me. Do you work in this department? Uh, I don't think we've met before. Uh, no, I work up in claims. Our copier's down. Uh, claims. If we make the money, you spend it. <laughs> Larry Novak. Transferred here a month ago from San Diego. Hi, I'm Lily Stanler. Welcome to the Philadelphia branch. Thank you, Lily. So, are you in sales? No. Oh, I say my comment about making money would have been misleading. No, I'm an actuary. Oh, so all of the reports that we do upstairs eventually... Wind up on my desk, yeah. <sighs> Interesting. I, um... I've always wondered what it would be like to work in risk management. I find it sort of fascinating. A lot of statistics, a lot of math. Sometimes I even get to use a calculator. <laughs> so, uh, um, oh. I should... It was nice to meet you, Larry. You too, Lily. Oh, Lily. Yeah? You, uh, forgot this. Oh, and, uh, this. Oh. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. You know, for $15,000, I'd move to Chicago in a heartbeat. Just pack up your mom and move her, too. Or, hey, better yet? Take some of the extra money and you hire someone to look after her here. Like a, a nursing student or something. I can't. I mean, she really needs me. And the truth is, she was really there for me when I needed her, too. I mean, every breakup, every problem, she's always been there for me. And you know, I didn't have a dad, so... But everybody's parents do that. They're there to help in a crisis. Well, I'm not saying she doesn't get on my nerves. Seriously, what happens if you meet a really great guy and you want to do something we call dating. Dating? What's that? <laughs> See? <sighs> you know, um, speaking of guys, I, uh, kind of found somebody that I'm sort of interested in. <laughs> really? Who? Oh. Someone online? No, somebody in the company. His name is Larry, and, um, he's the new actuary down on the fifth floor. I've seen him yet. We um, spoke for a moment by the copy machine, and I don't know, it was just, there might have been a connection. A connection? I don't know, maybe. A little one. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm sure with my luck, nothing much will happen. Don't be so pessimistic. I'm sure this Larry guy likes you, too. Yeah, they all say they like me, and then they just disappear. Come on, aren't you exaggerating a little bit? Well, look at it this way. Johnny was my first boyfriend. And then after a month, he just drifted away. And then there was Michael. Mm, that's the guy you met a couple years out of college, right? You, you never told me what really happened with him. Oh, we were so in love, head over heels. Well, let me guess, he cheated. No, no. I saw him almost every single day for six months. And then all of a sudden, I get a phone call from him where he says it's over. Never wants to see me again. I was crushed. Creep. Yeah, so I called him up because I wanted to find out what happened. He says that he's seen somebody else, just like that. You know, there's a special place in hell for men like that. Yeah, after six months of seeing him, that's all I get. You poor thing. Oh, thank God for my mom. She's the one who got me through it. You know, let's face it, dating sucks for everybody. That's why people get married, so they don't have to date anymore. Well, then how come you're not married? Are you kidding me? A bad date is still better than a bad marriage. <laughs> it up. When I get cold, my hands start to cramp. Did you finish running that background check on the defendant in the Burgess case? There you go. Thanks. I'm on my way to see Judge Smith to argue for a continuance in the Polly murder case. Bye. Yeah, 
Well, we should have it done by tomorrow, so I will fax you the quote. I appreciate your help. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, Lily. Hi, Larry, come on in. What are you doing up here? Uh, one of my assistants had to deliver something up here, so I thought I'd bring it up. Oh, well, that's nice of you. <laughs> So, uh, did they fix the uh, copier yet? Uh, yeah, I, I uh, saw a couple people working on it after lunch, so... Good. They're very good here at fixing things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what did you do for lunch? I, um, just went to this little Chinese food place down the block. It's, it's really good. I, I've been meaning to try that place. Oh, um, Joanna, this is Larry. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Um... Here are the documents that you needed. Oh, thanks. I'd better go. I'm late for a meeting. Bye. <sighs> so maybe you and I could go to that Chinese restaurant sometime. Uh, sure. We don't have to go there. I mean, if you don't want, we could go somewhere else. No, I mean, since you haven't been there, that would be a good place. How about tomorrow? If you're not doing anything. Tomorrow's... Great. It's one o'clock. Perfect. Okay. Here's my card. It's got my cell phone on it in case anything happens. Uh, otherwise, I will see you then. Great. All right. Bye, love. Hi, mom. I'm not at work. Well, are you on your way home? No, I'm, I'm at the mall. Why? What's wrong? You sound freaked. You have to come home right away. We have an infestation. Mom, the last time you said that, there were just a couple ants underneath the sink. Whatever it is, just spray it. Lily, I did. But it's a spider, a huge one. It crawled into this crack. I'm sure it's just lurking there, waiting to retaliate. Yeah, Mom. I'm almost done here, okay? I'll be home in a bit, and we'll take care of it, okay? Thank you, baby. Goodbye. Yeah. <sighs> if that bug is still alive, it's superhuman. Great. Superhuman spiders. My boss. Hi, Mr. Joris. Lily, hi. Listen, sorry to bother you, but I just got a call from Ollie Hoffiger, and uh, he's got to leave Friday now instead. So if you want me to set up that interview, I've got to do it now. Uh, yeah, I I'm sorry, Mr. Joris. I've been thinking about it, and while it's a great opportunity, I'm afraid I can't take it. Well, listen, is it the cost of relocating? Because if it is, I'm sure you can negotiate for the expenses. No, um, I just, I have too many responsibilities here. I can't move to Chicago. All right, uh, I understand. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you in the future. I'll let Ollie know. Well, thank you for thinking of me again, Mr. Joris. Sure, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow. What's all this about Chicago? Oh, it's nothing. There was a position that Mr. Joris thought I would be right for, but I told him I'm not going to do it. They wanted you to leave Philadelphia? How can they expect us to just up and move like that? Our entire lives are here. Yeah, I know, Mom. That's why I turned it down. What, what, why didn't you say no right away? Were you actually considering it? Well, I wanted to think about it, but I did, and now it's over. So I'm done talking about it. I'm going to take Binky for a walk. Uh, sweetheart, wait, wait. You have a thread hanging down there. I'm sure it's no problem. I'll fix it. Just hang on. Can't have you going out into the world with your clothes falling apart. I think that's a slight exaggeration, Mom. I remember when you were a little girl. Getting you ready for school took forever. Are you kidding me? I could barely leave the house. No, I couldn't have you going out looking like some hobo off a train. Mom, are you almost done? I'm not going to a party. I'm just going out to walk my dog. Just hang on. Let me finish. Come on, Binky. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Binky, tell Grandma that we want to go for a walk. There. All done. 
Thank you. I hope you appreciate it. I do, Mom. I appreciate you. I'll be back in a half an hour. Come on, Binky. Well, Come just on. once around the block. <laughs> then back out. <laughs> nope. Philadelphia, born and raised. <laughs> what about you? I uh, think I detect a slight accent. Really? Huh. Well, I grew up in Australia till I was 10, and then uh, my family moved to California. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, it took you two years to transfer from San Diego? Hmm. Yeah, there weren't any openings till the lady before me retired. But it did work out for the best. Uh, I didn't file for divorce until January, so... Listen, you should try some of this cashew chicken. It's really good. Oh, no, I'm... I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, then none for you, because we can't have this first day winding up in the ER. <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised, though. Did you know that 11 million people have some kind of allergy to food? No. Actually, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. And 90% of those food allergies can be related back to only eight different food groups. Nuts being one of them. You know a lot about allergies. <laughs> I know a lot about facts. Correlating statistical patterns into a risk mortality table is what I'm paid to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a fact for you. Okay, shoot. Did you know that twice as many people call in sick for work on Fridays than any other day of the week? 11% to be exact. Have you ever called in sick on a Friday without actually being sick? No, never. No, I'm, I'm much too responsible for that. We're gonna have to work on that. <laughs> These generic fortune cookies are kind of lame. You will live a long life. Well, maybe they don't want to offend anyone. You know, in New York, there's a Chinese restaurant that gives fortune cookies like, your wife is having an affair, or uh, <laughs> you'll have a heart attack before the end of the week. That is horrible. No, it's funny. It's funny. No. Oh. <laughs> Wish this one read, a beautiful woman will accompany you to dinner on Thursday night. I bet that's what your horoscope says. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. Hi, Pinky. Mm. Who's a good boy? You are. I guess you are. Hi, dear. How was your day? Good. You're in an awfully good mood. Did something happen? No, not really. I did not have a good day. Those stupid people at the DMV told me I have to take a driving test to renew my license. And then on top of that, Edna called to change the time we're playing bridge on Thursday. Oh, that's too bad. So you will have to finish up the pork roast. I will put it in the oven at 3.50. All you have to do is remember to take it out at exactly 7.30. Uh, Mom, you don't have to worry about that. I won't be home for dinner on Thursday. You won't? No, I'm going out. <laughs> that's a bit vague. You're not going out to one of those happy hours with that Joanna girl, are you? No, I'm not going out with Joanna. I have a dinner. A dinner? With who? Just some guy I met at work. We went out to lunch today, and he asked me out to dinner. You never mentioned being interested in some guy from work? Well, that's because we just met. Oh, so you don't know anything about him? Well, I know that we had a great lunch. Gosh, Mom, why do you have to rain on my parade? I might actually like this guy. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Do you, do you think you're, you're ready? What? To eat in a nice restaurant with someone other than my mother? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Lily, you don't make very good choices with men. You might get hurt. I'm willing to take that chance. Well, what's his name? Larry. And what time is this Larry picking you up? He's not. I asked him to meet me at the restaurant. He won't even take the time to drive over here and pick up his date. I asked him not to, Mom. But why would you do that? It is the proper way for a man... Because I wanted to spare him the interrogation. Lily, I never say or do anything to make your friends uncomfortable. Well, that's because I don't invite them over here anymore, Mom. Come on, Binky, let's go for a walk. <laughs> It's not like I miss Bridge all the time. It's just that tonight I have to take care of something for my boss. Uh, I'll find someone else then. Okay. But just this one time. All right. <laughs> 
You'd be good. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <sighs> she is so clingy. Sexy. Confident. <sighs> Close enough. Aren't you going to play bridge? It was canceled. Edna's sick. Oh, well, I don't know what time I'll be home, so don't wait up. Where are you going? I already told you, Mom. I'm going out with Larry. Please tell me what restaurant you're going to, in case you turn up missing. We're going to a restaurant called 18. All right. Have fun, dear. Thanks. So what do you do for real fun? Mm. Hmm. Um, for real fun, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like to go hiking with my dog, Binky. Binky, do you ever have fun with anybody other than your dog? <sighs> Hold on a second. It's my mom. You're not gonna take it? I'll call her back later. She calls a lot. What was I talking about? Hiking. Hiking. Uh, you know, being in the office all week. It's nice to get outside during the weekends. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Stanley? Yes? You have a phone call at the front desk. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Right this way. Excuse me. Wolf, do you think you need to go to the hospital? I don't know, but I, I cut myself emptying the dishwasher, and it it's bleeding pretty badly. Well, if you think you need stitches, you should ask one of the neighbors to drive you. I mean, even if I leave right now, I'm at least 20 minutes away. No, Lily, no, I don't want to bother the neighbors. I'd... Fine, fine, I, I will just try and stop bleeding myself. Just go to the hospital. No, Lily, look, it'll be fine. You just go back to your dinner. Don't worry about me. I'm going to take you. Just stay where you are. I'm on my way. Thank you. That was my mom. Is she okay? Uh, I may have to take her to the hospital. Well, I can come with you if you want. No, it's okay. I just, I feel bad about dinner. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I was having a really great time. I had a great time, too. Listen, go take care of your mom. I'll call you later. OK, thanks. I hope she's OK. Larry, hi. 
Hey, Lily, how's your mom? Did you get her to the hospital? Um, yeah, we're here right now. I think she needs stitches. We're still waiting. Thank you for checking up on her. I am, um, I'm sorry about our date again. Oh, it's okay. Don't apologize. But, listen, I was thinking that since this dinner tonight was a little shorter than I would have liked, maybe uh, we could try again for this Saturday. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, Saturday would be fine. Okay, uh, dinner at my place? <laughs> well, that depends on how well you cook. <laughs> well, if you leave halfway through again, I guess I'll know why. Well, I promise I won't. So, um, can you email me your address? Sure. I'll see you soon. Thank you for the best half date I've ever been on, Larry. <laughs> Whoa, nice flowers. senior actuary analyst. So that's who you are. I already bought the tickets, Lily. Mom, I'm sorry, but you should have asked me first. I already made plans with Larry. I have been wanting to see this movie for so long. Mom, it's not the end of the world. We'll go to a matinee on Sunday, my treat. Sunday's not the same as Saturday. Mom, I don't understand. Why can't you just be happy that I met someone that I actually like? Instead, you're upset that we have to postpone a movie by one day. After everything I do for you, you would rather choose some man you hardly know over your own mother. Heaven forbid you should consider me first. Consider you first? What, do you remember me leaving my date in the middle of dinner to take you to the hospital because you wouldn't ask a neighbor to do it? That's not putting you above everyone else. I told you, you didn't have to come. For God's sakes, Mom, if you meant that, you wouldn't have had me paged at the restaurant. Don't worry. The next time I need to go to the hospital, I won't burden you with whatever's wrong. Don't be ridiculous. That's not what I'm saying. I, I don't mind bringing you to the hospital. I'm just asking for a little flexibility on your part about this movie. Mom, don't get upset. There's nothing to be upset over. I, I just, I don't feel well. Look what this is doing to me. What's that supposed to mean? You're gonna leave. I know it. I have this horrible feeling. You're gonna leave, and I'm never gonna see you again. You're not gonna lose me. You're everything to me, baby. I know. I love you, Mom. The movie's gonna be just as good on Sunday. I promise. My baby, beautiful Lily.
this feels so good. It's almost done. You want to taste? Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Do you want me to open the wine? Sure. Corkscrew's in the top drawer. Okay. Uh, second drawer. Ooh. When the insurance company found this place for me, it was already furnished. Just keep forgetting where stuff is, you know? <laughs> Uh, maybe the third drawer? Maybe. And I sign a year's lease. <laughs> maybe by the time I get out, I'll know where everything is. Hmm. Well, either that or we'll just have to start drinking whiskey. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure your mom would understand that you want to get your own place. It's not like you're a little kid. Mm, yeah. It's just her health isn't getting any better. She relies on me a lot. Hmm. It sounds like you're in for the long haul. Yeah. Well, I just need to convince her that she'll be okay living without me. What about your father? When I was uh, six years old, my dad, he didn't come home from work one day. Nobody knew what happened to him. It was like he just vanished. My mom was a mess. She sent out a missing persons report. People went out looking for him, nothing. Did you ever find out what happened to him? About a month later, a sheriff showed up at our door. Mm -hmm. He was there to serve my mom divorce papers. What? My dad was alive and well. He already had an apartment rented about an hour away on the night he disappeared. Apparently, he was living there with his new girlfriend. God. I never saw him again. He died of cirrhosis about five years later. Wow. Lily, I'm sorry to hear that. I usually don't tell that story until about the 25th date. <laughs> Tends to send men running in the opposite direction. Uh, God, I knew I should have worn my sneakers. Left them in my gym bag. Listen, we, we all have things in our past that, you know, are hard for others to accept, but it's those experiences that make us who we are, you know? Do we have to be so serious? Can we talk about something happy so I can see that smile on your face? <laughs> there it is. Cheers. Kings. Ah. Good movie. Better than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't really like it. Why? It was funny. Life is nothing like that. Stupid movie writers think that people fall in love and everything is all la-dee-da happy. Marriage is no bed of roses. I'm sorry you didn't like it, Mom. So, you didn't tell me about your date last night. Yes, I did. You asked me about it this morning. 
You said it was fine. It was fine. Just fine? That's not saying much. Did you not have a good time? We had a great time, actually. Well, tell me about it. What'd you do? I ate dinner. I played cards. <laughs> Talked with him for hours. Well, that's it? Well, that doesn't sound very special. Well, I'm sure it doesn't, Mother. That's why I didn't tell you about it before. Well, there's no need to get upset. I'm not upset. Can we just talk about something else? Oh, you clearly are. Was it something that I said? No. It's nothing you said. Lily, sweetie, I've known you longer than anyone, and I can tell when you're angry. I'm not angry. I'm not trying to put Larry down. It's just that back in my day, a man actually took a woman somewhere nice for a date. They didn't just hang out at his house so he could save a buck. Mom, can you just stop it? Just shut up! something to eat somewhere. <laughs> so, that good, huh? Yeah, it was so great. We're just so great for each other. It's great. It sounds like your curse is finally lifted. Yeah, I wish it was that simple. I really need to move out. But, you know, that's not gonna fly with my mom. Well, you knew it was gonna happen sooner or later, right? Yeah. I need to just do it. That a girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't know. <laughs> He's inviting me away for the weekend. I'm so jealous. Should I go? What are you kidding me? I don't know. It's so soon. Listen, you pack your bags, girl, or um, I'm gonna go. Yes, this is Inez from Lydia Miggs' office. I was wondering if you'd finish those background checks we sent over. Yeah, the Roberts case, right? Right, right. Um, listen, uh, I have another one. Uh -huh. It's a rush. The name is Larry Novak, Novak. and he works at Guardsman Insurance. No problem. Great, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Uh, could you call Detective Ingham and ask him to fax the police report over? He'll know what it is. Sure. Oh, um, th by the way, I need to leave a little early today to take my driver's test. Lily's coming with me. I thought you did that a couple of days ago. No, that was the doctor for the pain in my shoulder. I think you must have met every doctor in Philadelphia by now. Good thing you pay my health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just make sure everything gets done. Okay. I told my mom I'd bring her to the DMV. I'm praying to God she passes her driving test. Can you imagine if they don't renew her license? Are you kidding me? Just the thought makes me want to drive off a cliff. Mm. Mom! What are you doing here? I told you to call me from downstairs. What? I forgot to charge my phone. I'm Inez, Lily's mom. Joanna Crawley. Oh. I'll just, I'll call you tomorrow, Joanna. Sure. Good luck on your driving test. Mm-hmm. Come on, Mom, let's go. You know, since I'm here, maybe you could introduce me to Larry. Mom, hmm? he's in meetings. We'll do it some other time. Maybe I should just take the driver's test in Illinois. What? Well, I've been thinking, you know, maybe you should take that job in Chicago. I bet we could find a fantastic place there. Something modest, just for us two girls. Yeah, Mom, hold up a second. Just the other day, you were ready to hang Mr. Joris for even suggesting we uproot our lives and move to Chicago, and now suddenly you want to go? What's going on? Well, nothing. But, but, we don't really have anything keeping us here, do we? Come on, Mom, we gotta go. Answer my question. Are you getting so serious about this Larry person you would pass up a promotion? Mom, I don't want to talk about this. I do. Would you pass up a promotion for him? Mom, 
If we talk about this, you're just gonna get all worked up and you're not gonna pass your test. Now, you don't want that to happen, do you? Now, you promised me that we would have coffee at that little place in the mall afterwards. We are gonna sit down and talk about this, all right? Fine. Just go and pass your test. All right. Wish me luck. Please pass your test. Mom, come on. Let's think positively. You just passed your driver's test? You're spending some mother-daughter time together? How could I possibly care when you just told me you want to move out and leave me all alone? Please, try to understand that I need this. Why? You have everything at home. No, I don't. I... I just... I need privacy, you know? I need my own space. You know, I'm gonna try and find a place in the city right near you. I'll just be a phone call away. What if something happens? What, what if I fall? What, what, what if I cut myself again? Well, then I'll come right over. It's gonna be okay. I'll come over for dinner once a week. Is this because of that Larry person? You never mentioned anything like this until you met him. I just... I need to get back out on my own. I really do. Oh, Lily. How can you do this to me? I'm not trying to hurt you, Mom. I just... I'm gonna look for my own place when I get back from my trip. Trip? What trip? Trip with him? Yes, this weekend. Go home, Lily. What? I could take a cab. Mom, no, just, you're behaving irrationally. I said I want you to go home. Mom! them for me. Do ya? We have a million things to do before I'm due in court. I have to leave right now. I'm about to lose my daughter. What? You don't have a daughter. You can't possibly understand. Hi, Mom. You need to come downstairs right away. I'm in the lobby. What? Why? What's wrong? Just do it. It's important. see this. I ran a background check on Larry. What? No, you always have to check up on everybody. God, I can't believe you would call me out of work for some Lily, like this. you need to see it. Read it. Mom, stay out of our relationship. Lily, he's married. You are dating a married man. He's divorced. If you were, it would be right here in the report. It's all here in black and white. See? Claire Novak, married nine years. And if they'd even filed for legal separation, it would be there. I don't... I don't understand. He, he said that the divorce was final before he left San Diego. He lied to you. And if he could lie to you about this, who knows what else he's lied about. I'm so sorry, baby. It's just I... I didn't want you to get hurt. Go. All right, sweetie. See you home tonight. Are 
you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. Lily, you okay? You lied to me. What? Yeah, I believed you when you said you weren't married. Um, you know what? I, I, I can explain that. Are you, or are you not still married? Yes, I am still married, but... Hey, there's nothing more to say. Lily, wait. Just go to your meeting. Joanna, where's Lily? I don't know. She left earlier. She's really upset. What's her address? to talk. Yeah, I don't want to talk, Just Larry. wait. Let me explain. She already said she didn't want to talk. Now just go away before I call the police. Two minutes late. It's all I need. That's it. No, Mom. Wait. Fine. Two minutes outside. Sorry for lying to you. I should have told you the truth. How could you do that? It was deceitful, I know, but I didn't do it to trick you or anything like that. I haven't seen Claire for over a year. When I told you I put in for a transfer two years ago, that was the truth. And it was then that Claire and I decided to go our separate ways. Well, why didn't you just get a divorce then? Because of her father. What? He's in politics. Very conservative, old school mentality. He was sure that... If it came out that his daughter was divorced twice, that it would affect his chances of re-election. Claire asked me to hold off making it official until he got in for his second term. The election is next month, and I will file the papers when it's over. All that for your ex-wife. Sounds pretty important in your life. She was. Lily, just because I don't love Claire anymore doesn't mean that I don't care about her family. I mean, they were good to me, and I do not want to hurt them. I didn't tell you because I thought that if you were married, you wouldn't want to see me again. And I didn't want to take that chance. You shouldn't have lied to me, Larry. I know. I don't think you can't trust me, because you can. And if you stick with me long enough, I will show you over and over and over how trustworthy I am, I promise. Turn over skeletons in my closet. Forgive me. I forgive you. He's a liar, Lily, and he will hurt you, just like Michael did. He's nothing like Michael. So now it's just fine for men to lie to you? Is that how little you think of yourself? 
Mom, I care about him, and I am going on this trip. I don't care what you say. Well, don't come crying to me when he breaks your heart, because mark my words, he will. Well, believe you me, I won't. And from now on, stay out of my relationships. That means no more background checks, no more telling me how terrible he is, no more nothing. Understand? I just care for you. That's all. Mom, promise me you'll butt out. I promise. He's here. Have a good weekend. I'll call and check up on you. Hey. Hi. You look great. Oh, thank you. You ready? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Thought we could take our time, take the old road, maybe get some lunch. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you ready to go check this place out? Okay. After you. <laughs> the real world seems so far away, huh? She still hasn't called Binky. One night with Larry, she's forgotten all about us. She would feel terrible if anything happened to us. Even just to one of us. Ma'am? To the people you meet because of a broken copy machine. Cheers. Cheers. What are you thinking? I don't know, just calculating like an actuary. <laughs> what are you calculating? The odds of me being this happy. I'll drink to that. on Wiley? Yeah. Uh, the one that's open 24 hours? Yeah. I have a question. I think my dog might have gotten into some rat poison. Oh? I'm very worried. It just happened? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he, he's such a little guy. I, I I think he only swallowed a couple of teaspoons. If it's less than half a cup, don't worry. Oh, oh, I see. It, it would take at least half a cup. He'll to... just get sick to his stomach. He'll just have an, an upset tummy? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. not want Lily to come home. Eat it. No. Oh, stupid dog. 
I know what you like. Binky, look. Chocolate. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Come on, come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. Eat it all. Come on. Mmm. Yeah, so I looked up actuary on the internet, and did you know that it's one of the most desirable jobs in America? Really? <gasps> oh, that's my mom. I told her I would call earlier. Hi, Mom. Honey, I'm sorry to bother you, but something's happened. Mom, what's wrong? It's Binky. He's sick. What do you mean, he's sick? Uh, I don't know, but, he, but he's acting very strangely. And... I wasn't sure whether I should take him to the vet. Oh, my God, Lily. I think he got into the trash. No, Mom, that's impossible. I put a latch on the pantry door. Well, he did. Oh, Lily. Oh, Lily, I, I threw out half a container of chocolate frosting tonight. I think he ate the whole thing. What's happening? My pinky got into the trash. Mom! Dogs can't have chocolate. It could kill them. Well, maybe you should come home right away. He does not look good. Mom, you need to take him to the vet. Sweetie, I can't drive at night because of my night blindness. I think you should get back here as soon as you can. She can't drive him. Hold on, I got an idea. Mom, hold on a second. My neighbor across the street, he's a vet. He owes me a big favor. I can make a call. Lily? Mom, hold on. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate it. I'm on my way. Yeah. Tell him not to worry. OK. He is on his way to your mom's right now. Really? Mm hmm M Mom, we're sending a vet over, one of Larry's friends. Uh, no, no, no. I, I really think you should go to the end. You are a lifesaver. Okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna be fine. Luckily, he vomited up most of the frosting. It's a good thing I got here when I did. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take him into the clinic, though, just to be safe. Keep him under observation for 24 hours. Yeah, good. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Look, you guys can pick him up on your way back into town tomorrow evening. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Uh, hold on, I think your mother would like to speak with you. Good evening, Mrs. Stanler. Thank you for coming. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. So, Roger's gonna take Binky? Yes. I hope he doesn't try to sell him or something. I'm sure he'll be fine. I would feel so much better if you just got in the car and came home. Mom, I'm not gonna get into this with you. Look, I, I gotta go. So, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Lily, <sighs> How's Binky? Binky's gonna be fine. Binky's in good hands with Roger. Thank you so much for calling him. Yeah. Binky will be fine. So beautiful. So fragile. You're not gonna take her away from me, Larry. Michael couldn't do it. Neither can you. He's much better. He's yeah. fine. Yeah, thanks, Roger. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure. See you when you get here. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So Roger said Binky's doing great. He even scarfed down some food this morning. That's supposed to be good news, right? Yeah, it is. It is. What's the problem? I don't know. Just for a second last night, I thought that my mom was making up Binky's illness just to get me to come home. Well, Roger said he saw Binky throw up the cake frosting, so... I mean, apparently not. 
Yeah, I know, but Larry, I put a latch on the pantry door just to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen. Well, maybe your mom forgot to latch it. <sighs> maybe. What are you saying? Your mom gave Binky the frosting on purpose so you'd come home? I don't know, she really didn't want me to come. <laughs> come on, sweetheart. It, it seems a little extreme. No? Yeah. <sighs> You're right. She wouldn't do something like that. I don't know what I was thinking. Look, let's forget about the dog, forget about your mom. Let's go have some fun. It'll all be there to worry about when you get home. This morning? No, I'm just. Something feels weird. I mean, you don't know my mom. Bad things have happened to her entire life. Nothing like this, though. What do you mean? It's just. First, she cuts herself on our date. Mm -hmm. Then, Binky gets into the trash on a night when there's something in there that can make him sick. Both times when I'm out with you, then she runs that background check. Well, she could be stepping it up because she doesn't want you seeing anyone. Is that a pattern for her? I don't know. It just feels weird. Who's feeling better? Who's feeling better? Frosting. Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. What listing? Michael Benton. Just a moment, please. Thanks, Mr. Joris. I, I really appreciate you letting me take the day off. No problem. We'll see you tomorrow. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. Excuse me, I'm looking for Michael Benton. He's expecting me. Just a moment. So, why'd you want to see me? Well, uh, I'm seeing someone else now, and we've gotten kind of serious. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's great. Everything's going really, really well. It's just every single time we go out, it's like something happens with my mom. It's like she's trying to break us up. Well, that sounds familiar. I was just wondering, when we broke up, do you think that my mom had something to do with that? I don't know. I thought about calling you a couple times. 
tell you the truth. What do you mean? When I told you that I met someone else, that wasn't true. Really? Right after we came back from New York, that night, two guys just jumped me. They, they, they beat me up pretty bad. Oh, my God. One of them had a gun, and they told me to break off all contact with you. With me? They said that they would not only hurt me, but my family. So I got scared, and I just did what they told me to do. I panicked. Maybe I took the easy way out. I no. Do you know who they were? They never said. At the time, I assumed maybe one of them had a thing for you. I, I don't know. I always wondered about that night. Are you out of your mind? No, he's a thief. It's his first felony. I need privacy, you know? I'm gonna look for my own place when I get back from my trip. I don't care what you say. Stay out of my relationships. Mom, promise me you'll butt out. Are you sure I can stay with you? Just until I get my own apartment. If it's not okay, I can stay with Joanna. Of course it's fine. Just bring whatever you need. Thank you so much. I just, I can't deal with her anymore. Lil, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I just gotta get packed and get out of here. Listen, um... I'm gonna take some work with me and go home early. All right, fine. Just... I wanna get done before she gets home at four. I'm gonna talk to her and I'll be right over. Okay. If you need anything else, give me a call. Otherwise, I will see you later. Okay, thanks. What are you doing? I'm leaving. You're constantly interfering. I can't stand to spend one more night in this house with you. What are you talking about? I talked to Michael today. You know, there never was another girl. That's not why he left me. He told me how he was attacked. Do you know anything about that, Mother? He wasn't good enough for you. You knew that. You were just too afraid to admit it. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you were behind it. With all those creepy people that you work with. Is that why my other boyfriend stopped calling me, too? Honey, those boys didn't love you. Do you love me? How could you hurt me like this? You know, I don't know what's going on with you, Mom, but somewhere deep inside, it's like you don't want me to have a life. No, but how can you say that? Because if I had a life, then I couldn't be with you all the time. You're so selfish. It's like it's all about you. It's always been about you. You know, it's like you love yourself more than you love me. No, no, Lily, I, I, I want you to be happy. No, you don't. You want me to be happy on your own terms, in your own house. Well, you know what? That ends today. Lily, please, where, where are you going? To Larry's. And you know what, Mom? Nobody's gonna hurt him. He's not gonna suddenly leave. And you know what? No sudden illness of yours is gonna bring me back. Come on, Binky. <laughs>
Are you sure you don't want to call him? No. No, I, I feel like I've stood up to her for the first time in my life. Well, it sounds to me like you did what you had to do. Maybe someday she'll get it. She'll understand it. Tell you what, till that day, I'll take care of you. He took it. He took my baby. <sighs> Only one thing left to do. Uh, Lily, it's your mom. What? Oh, God. Well, what do we do? Well, we can't let her stand there. We gotta go reason with her. Yeah, right. Hi, Mrs. Stanley. Come on in. Mom, what are you doing here? I'm going to take you back. Well, I'm not going back. So you can just go home, and we'll talk about this tomorrow. Well, I am not leaving without you. Mom, go home. Binky. Hello, sweetie. Ladies, Mrs. Stanlock, I think it would be better for everybody if we just let things cool off tonight. Lily's right. Come back tomorrow, we will sit down, and we'll talk. I don't care what you say, Larry. You're the one who got us into this mess. I came here for my daughter, and I'm not leaving without her. Mom, you're acting crazy. Why does no one ever listen to what I say? I said that we are going home. Now go get your suitcases. No, Lily, you are mine. You belong to me. And you can't have her. I will not let you take her away from me. Mrs. Stanler, that is not what I'm trying to do. No. <laughs> no? No? What are you no. done? No. You have taken her away from me and you have torn us apart. Put Please. the gun down. Put, put, put it down. down. You told me not to use that. Yes, I do. All I have to do is pull the trigger and I can do that. Mrs. Stanley, please. You put the gun down. Have a seat, please. Have a seat, and we'll talk. Talk, talk. Talking is what got us into this. I don't want you to talk to her anymore, and I don't want you to see her anymore. Please put the gun down. But I know you. Oh, I know you. You are just going to keep coming until you take her away from me forever. <laughs> Safety's on. <laughs> I'll go back with you. 
It doesn't matter. Even if you come home, you're just going to leave again. It's not where you want to be. That's not true. You're all that I need, Lily. But I'm not what you need at all. You need to be away from me. I wanted to have a baby girl more than anything in this world. And I thought that if I was a good mother, you would want to stay with me. You were forever. And I tried, baby. I tried so hard. That's all I wanted to do, to be a good mother to you. You are. You are a good mom. You're a great mom. What is she doing? Mom? Mom, are you taking pills? Mom? Mom, open Stanley. the door. This is Stanley, open up. Mom, please, 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 just open up the door, please. We gotta get her out of here. This is Stanley. If you don't open the door, I'm gonna break it down. No! Mom. I'll call 911. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nobody wants me, Lily. Nobody loves me. That's not true, Mom. I love you. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get you some help. And they say that you're getting better and better all the time. I, I do feel better. What about you? How's work? Well, I accepted the promotion. So I'm now in charge of the entire claims department. Which is only five people, but, you know, still. That is great, honey. I am so proud of you. Are you still working for Mr. Doris? Yeah. He's still my boss. I'm glad that I didn't leave Philadelphia, though. I wouldn't want to be too far away from you. Well, maybe I can come see your new office when I get out. The doctors say that I should be ready in, um, a couple of months. That's your mom. You can come and see me anytime you want. <sighs> well, I should probably get going. They're gonna want you to go down to lunch soon, and Larry's waiting for me downstairs. I love you, too, sweetie. See you next week.